Hey everyone, it's Mark Sargent, and this is just a little article that I found hidden in the depths of the internet, but very, very recent. And I'm going to give you a screenshot for it right now, which is called Alex Jones is just playing a character, according to his lawyer. And the article goes something like this. Alex Jones isn't a conspiracy theorist who thinks globalist elites staged the Boston Marathon bombing and Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama reek of sulfur because they are demons. He just plays one on the radio. At least that's what Jones lawyer claimed in the custody battle over his three children, arguing that judging his client by his Infowars persona would be like evaluating Jack Nicholson's parenting skills by watching him play the Joker in Batman. He's playing a character. Attorney Randall Wilhite argued at a pretrial hearing according to the Austin American Statesman. He is a performance artist. Over the next two weeks, a Texas jury will decide whether Jones' performance reflects who he is in private life and whether that has any bearing on his fitness as a parent. His ex-wife, Kelly Jones, says there is only one Alex Jones and his on-air persona is part of the reason that she should have custody of their children. Their 14-year-old son, and 12 and 9 year old daughters have lived with Alex Jones since the couple divorced in 2015. He's not a stable person, Kelly said. He says he wants to break Alec Baldwin's neck. He wants JLo to get raped. She said she's concerned that by threatening Representative Adam Schiff, the top Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee, in a recent rant, her ex committed a felony. He broadcasts from home. The children are there watching him broadcast, she said. During Wednesday's hearing, State District Judge Orlinda Naranjo ruled that the jury could hear a clip from the July 20, 2015 broadcast in which Jones plays videos his son put together with the help of the InfoWars team. He is undoubtedly cut out for this, and I intend for him to eclipse what I've done. He's a way greater person than I was at 12, said Jones, who then addressed his son. I love you so much, and I didn't mean to get you up here, sweetheart, and tell people how much I love you, but you're so handsome, and you're a good little knight who's going to grow up. I know to be a great fighter against the enemy. Naranjo allowed two other clips from InfoWars, but said the jury cannot hear the tirade in which Jones uses gay slurs against Schiff and threatens to beat your goddamn ass, you son of a bitch. This case is not about InfoWars, and I don't want it to be about InfoWars, Naranjo warned the attorneys. And that's the end of the article, and the article was from <clears throat> New York Magazine <laughs> via the Daily Intelligencer, written by Margaret Hartman. And <clears throat> this should come to no surprise to any real good conspiracy person, Alex Jones. You know, it, the fact that his lawyer comes out and says, not only says that he's an actor, but he compares him to another actor, Jack Nicholson, and says that he's playing a character. And so does this affect Flat Earth? And which is why I'm, I'm doing this. No, it doesn't. Because, mainly because Alex Jones, if you guys have been following for the last year, has turned down time and time again the whole Flat Earth community. Had he been on board with Flat Earth, yeah, it would have affected us, no doubt, no question. The, 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 the world's most prominent conspiracy guy now comes out and says, well, he didn't say, but his lawyer says that he's playing a character on, his, on Alex's behalf. And that makes sense because we, we all suspected it. And this is what happens when the chips are down. When you find a pressure point and you squeeze hard enough, you will find out what a person's really about. In this case, the pressure point was his three children. Custody battle. You know, might as well put a gun to his head. It's like, I, no, 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 I believe in conspiracies and do that whole rah-rah thing. And then somebody puts a gun to your head. It's like, you really a conspiracy theorist? And he's like, uh, no, I'm just acting. That's really what happened here. You know, he, he valued his kids, the, uh, the future of his children, and which a lot of people would. And then the truth came out legally legally docu you know documented at this point so <clears throat> and, and I'll talk about this on Patricia's show 
it means that uh, you know Alex's fan base is going to be severely diminished because everyone will just start quoting this article and several others like this because this court case is going to you know this is going to keep there's going to be more articles like this and special shout out to Joe Rogan who idolized him for years now whether Joe believed in the persona or he believed in in the actual man who who knows so anyway but I hope you guys read the article I encourage you to and if you find more articles like this please send them to me uh, I just caught this on accident it was just a link through the Financial Times but I'll talk about it on on Patricia's show today anyway thanks guys stay flat